shame. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I know CSEC too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many Drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a Drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes. I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked at Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you- Oh shit! Krios! I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't- If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I I didn't ask, because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You've always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. 
Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. The Hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other Hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You. Of all people know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Yes? Can we associate son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two?
Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Bailey doesn't know you're here, but he will, after we're done. This is off the record. No criminal charges will be brought against you. What are you, frog boy? His little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, huh? Didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve either. We're running out of time. Bailey can't stall his advocate for long. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. All right, all right, fucking quit it. Ain't worth this. Joram Talid, Turian running for office on the Zakira Ward. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... you played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? I guess you'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name, I'll... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'm following. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. No problem so far.
I've got him. Guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. Target in sight. What? Where is he now? Yes, sir. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. Hey! Who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just... just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss see you. I see him. Lead department. Call yet. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need them. What the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you could die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother... They killed her to get to me. 
It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men, the ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyot, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Colyot and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. How to go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. 